Um, our next artist is Deborah Kreck Harnish, and she attended the Institute for European Studies in Vienna, Austria. And she received her Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Science from Alfred University in New York. And she is a lifelong creative recycler. Um, to quote her, trash, she believes, is simply a failure of imagination. So over the past 10 years, Deborah has put her imagination to work, building complex and eloquent mixed media assemblages out of discarded objects. So welcome, Deborah. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. <laughs> oh, it's great to be here. We were kind of, we've been talking about COVID-19 a little bit, um, you know, we're all there, all experiencing it together. Has, has it changed your artistic practice at all? You know, I feel like I'm supposed to say, yes, it has. I mean, it's <laughs> certainly changed my life. Yes. It's changed all of our lives. But I, I think for me, it hasn't necessarily changed my practice that much. I'm still, I still work in my studio. My studio is at home. I can still go any time of the day. I don't have to wear a mask. Um, I guess the, because I'm a, a mixed media artist, yeah, I mean, these are, these are the body, body parts of you know, the things that I make. Um, the thing that has changed my, uh, my artistic practice is the sourcing of materials. So it, it was difficult. People always ask me, where do you get your things? And the answer is, thrift stores and estate sales. Um, so during COVID, I started buying more on eBay. You know, I mean, so I can still get things, but it's just that it changed my, my stream of, um, of uh, materials. Yes, yeah. Have you been successful with eBay or? Yeah. And it's probably not quite as much fun as going and picking things It's up. not, but you get cool things. Look at this, this is a, uh, can you see that that's a curad bandage? Is it too shiny? Now that you say that, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, remember that from the 60s? My mommy put a curad, a curad. So <laughs> this is, is part, I'm, I did, started the series during COVID, and it's called Healthcare Heroes, and I use Band-Aid tins to make my girls. Wow. And um, I named them after friends, I mean, on my website, you'll see, I named them after friends who are in healthcare. So that I guess is the chain, the, the one difference that COVID has made in, um, in the way I make art. Here's another one of my healthcare heroes. This one, this is a vintage Band-Aid tin. <laughs> and where did you find all of the, your Band-Aid tins? eBay. You, eBay, you did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, then, then it also happens that some people hear that I'm looking for some particular thing. And I was in, in my gallery the other day and I told um, Dee, Archival is my gallery. I was in talking to Dee Neath and I said, geez, you know, I started this Healthcare Heroes series and I use um, Band-Aid boxes. She said, oh, I've got some for you. So that's what happens. She goes into her first aid kit and pulls out five Band-Aid boxes. So Band-Aid tins, you know, so I can, I've got some more girls coming up. So, so everybody listening tonight <laughs> can, can maybe help uh, keep you supplied with your... Well, it's so funny. I, I refer to them as, to my friends as body parts. I, I'll say, they'll say, what are you doing today? I, oh, I'm going to go look for body parts. And it's gotten so that people know what I'm looking for and I'll come home and I'll see a bag of body parts on the table in my courtyard. Well, good. So, do you always do girls? You, you keep referencing girls. Do you do boys? Um, I just started doing boys. Oh. And I started doing, um, a, I'm gonna do a bride and a groom. Oh. And so the groom, the tin for the groom is Jack Spratt. It's Jack Spratt's spice. So I thought, oh, that's, that's good for a guy. Are you doing it for a couple? They're getting married? Or you just decided to do yeah. a bride and groom? I'm thinking, boy, man and woman getting married. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's, it's fun. 
Yeah. Is any is is any of your art um, in a current exhibit anywhere, or are you showing? Um, right now, no. I had a show at Archival Gallery. Oh yes, on Folk um, Boulevard. Uh, yes. Yes. On okay. Folsom. And um, I, I was there in July. And then again at Christmas, she's going to do a tree of my angels. She's going to wow. have all these girls kind of on, oh. on a white Christmas tree. Wow. Um, and then I was on Good Day Sacramento yesterday. Oh, you were? I was. I and was how interviewed. Did that, how did that go? How did that, that go? Was, so much stinking fun. Was, <laughs> people who said, oh, did it go by fast? I said, yeah, I only talked for like a minute. And then I looked at the video and it was like three and a half minutes. And it just like that. And it was over. So but, what were you, what was the, um, what was the conversation about? You're just, it was the, my Spice Girls, oh. which is the, I, I take spice tins, vintage spice tins and do the same kind of thing and also i do see here's this very precious girl you can see she's and she's got a cute little purse which is a necklace is she is she the one that's in the guide no actually the one that's in the guide sold oh she did so she, she was adorable <laughs> wasn't she yeah. I, there's some, they just have this personality. And I, I joke with my friends. I said, God, they're talking to each other. I've got to get out of the studio. It's too loud. <laughs> they just, you know, they, they kind of tell me what they want. If they want a hat or do they want a crown? Do they want? So anyway, I really am a healthy person. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> okay. So that's part of your process. You let, you let it evolve. You find, um, so maybe yeah. explain that to us a little bit. You you are shopping on eBay now, not so much um, going out and searching, but you find, say, um, where you're doing your spice boxes now, but you maybe you find one object that starts the whole process. And well, you just build from yeah. Okay. Let me show you something. Okay, good. Can you see see the Statue of Liberty? Oh yes, yes. Right here. If you look yeah. at her crown yes. her crown is made now this is a whole other side of me um and her crown is made of toy bullets my husband found a bandolier of bullets toy uh, bullets and i i just looked at them and i thought that looks like the statue of liberty's crown i could just see it you know yeah and that's how it started and i used gourds I always use gourds for heads because no two are alike, right. just like humans, no two are alike. And I think it gives it character. And then, so from there, I started with that. And then I found pieces in the hunt and finding the pieces takes a lot longer than actually building the piece because I look for very specific things and it's not something you can necessarily mail order. Right. Um, right. So what's the base of that of the Statue of Liberty? What do you, what is the what does she stand? Oh. She's on picture frames. Oh. And she's wrapped in barbed wire because she's it's called Liberty's Despair. Um and it's this is this is a a um a tart tin. Uh, this is a cash po. This is a cash po. This is a strainer. Um, and then a couple of tartans. Her arms are fig from my fig tree. And her flame is, or her torch is a grater. It's from a meat grinder. Oh, wow. But then there's, there's this side of me that that does tutus so i kind of have to balance the real serious stuff with the fun stuff the fun stuff yes that was a great show your tutu too 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 much show that was that was too too great. much fun yes <laughs> i do have fun with them so is the statue of liberty is that a new piece or is that something that you've done um well i've 
I, I have, it's, it's new, it was new uh, last year. Okay, okay. And I have another one, um, it's called, um, and then there were two, and it's uh, Blind Justice. And she's holding the scales of justice, but she is, she's got children and guns on it. So it's a little heavier. That's why I have to make the fun stuff because <laughs> yeah. serious stuff takes it out of me. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yes. Um, so your process, um, I just, I just love the fact that you are recycling. Um, and you've got lots of sources out there. Uh, not right now, it's a little harder right now with COVID, but, um, and, and it's interesting that you say you, you are looking for, so you, when you're gonna create, you are looking for specific um, pieces, but like you described your bullets, you knew what was going to happen, but then you were looking for specific pieces to complete that yes. piece, correct? Okay. Okay. That it works that way. And then sometimes like I was in Goodwill this afternoon and I found a bowl that I said, Oh my gosh, that's going to be the perfect little skirt. So, you know, so I'll work backwards from there. From so, there. okay. So that's great. So you find one piece and then you can, you can go from there with the one. It, it, it informs my decision on how to make it. Yeah. yeah. Well, great. Yeah, and everything is on my website, which is, it's just www.crec.me. So it's K-R-E-C-K dot M-E. It's very easy to find. And the um, Liberties Despair, and um, and then there were two on there, as well as two other ones that have sold. Okay. Um, and then the other things that I do, yeah. the, um, the other um, categories that I work in. Okay, great. I can see that Justina put your contact information in the chat for everyone. Thank you, Justina. Justina, anybody have any questions for Deborah? Um, no questions so far. Um, I didn't ask for them this time because Deborah, you're so eloquent at talking about your uh, yes. artwork. <laughs> um, so, um, my. <laughs> Well, it's time to wrap up, but my, my question, I just have a quick question for you, Deborah, which is kind of a funny question. Are you able to go anywhere without seeing objects that can turn into your figures? That's a good question. Because I imagine that you're constantly no. like, that is a skirt, that is a oh. head. <laughs> Today, we were driving down the road and I saw an electrical box on the side of the road and it looked like the man's profile. That's you know, so it just stuck at it or, or, Right here, this is a sculpture of my mom. And you can see she's got boobs. Because, <laughs> I love it. And those are finials from a, a drapery rod. So that's... Yeah. Your imagination is just so, it's so amazing. I love it. It's very inspiring, Deborah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Um, I'll, I'll give it back to uh, Denise to introduce the next artist. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah, so Thank, you. Thank you, Justina. Thanks, Denise. You're welcome.